What's up guys? Welcome to Making Houston Home. My name is Rennie Lara and in this video I'm going to be showing you Cypress versus the Woodlands, Texas. Not only am I going to show you some houses in the $400,000 range, but I'm also going to go into the computer and we're going to show you guys what there is to do in each one of these cities as well. So kind of a map tour in the computer as well as a home tour on the computer in this video. So if you've seen these before, if you're new to my channel, um, I have a lot of these verses comparing all these different suburbs of Houston, looking at houses, looking at things to do in these areas. So you can check those out, but we're gonna jump into this one again. This is gonna be the Woodlands versus Cypress, Texas. I'm gonna tell you what you need to know about each one of these areas. And we're gonna jump into some houses priced in the 400,000s in each one of these areas. So let's get to it. Okay, so right now I have a map pulled up. Obviously you can see right up here is the Woodlands, Texas, straight north of downtown Houston. And then over here, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, we have Cypress, but we're gonna start in, wood, in the Woodlands. I'm gonna show you some of the things to do and then I'm gonna show you these houses in the $400,000 range so you can see what your money can buy you in the Woodlands first. Um, so we can go ahead and zoom in here. You know, as I mentioned, just real quick, Kind of right off I-45 in this, this is the most popular part where everything there is to do in the Woodlands is. So you got the mall, you got Market Street, you got the lake, the Children's Museum, Texas Tree Ventures. There's a ton, a ton of stuff to do right here, which I'm going to show you a few things. Obviously, we're not going to go through everything or this video would be way too long. But just real quick, just overall um, overview of the Woodlands right here. You know, you got Conroe north of the Woodlands, a lot of expansion happening in Conroe. You got George Bush Airport right down here, which is not very far at all. So if you're like me, um, I'm from Southern California. So moving here to Houston, being close to the airport was important because we have family that comes to visit often. So we didn't want to be too far from the airport. Uh, the Woodlands is a great location for that as well. Um, let's go ahead and we'll jump into one of my favorite resources is niche.com to kind of get information on different cities. So as you can see right here, um, this is niche.com. We're on the Woodlands, number one best city to buy a house in America. And that's according to niche.com. None of this is gonna be really my opinion. This is just information that you can get on the internet yourself also. So going through these grades, you know, all A's and B's throughout. I'm not sure why there's no crime and safety rating. Maybe it just hasn't been updated. Um, but, you know, you can see here population about 115,000 um, median home price 390 a um, lot of owners compared to renters there in the woodlands median rent about 1600 um, some of the rankings here best city to buy a house in America number one best city to raise a family in America number two and number three for best city to live in America so Great ratings here on niche.com. You know, obviously there's a map here. Highly rated schools as well in the Woodlands. Getting into, you know, just kind of some demographics about the residents in the Woodlands. You, you know, you can kind of check that out. You know, 40% have a bachelor's degree, 25 masters or higher. Um, just kind of tells you a little bit about the people that, that live there. Um, Working in the Woodlands, A plus base for employment rates, job and business growth, cost of living, median household income, about 130,000. Um, you know, really, really overall great scores here on niche.com. Kind of jump over to some of the things that there are to do or things that I enjoy doing in the Woodlands. My wife and I spend a lot of time in the Woodlands. We love it. Um, one of the places we go often is Market Street. So, you know, Market Street is really, there's a ton of shops, which you can kind of see in some of these pictures. You know, here's an aerial shot of it. Um, you, know, you got this big center, and as you can see in that other picture, kids and people, you come out and play here. It's a really, really cool area. You got a ton of shops, restaurants, and bars. They actually just opened a Boss Cat kitchen just a few weeks ago. My wife went and, uh, my wife and I had brunch there a couple Sundays ago. Um, and I know they have them in California. I'm pretty sure there's one in like Newport, one in Irvine. So if you've been to a Boss Cat Kitchen, you, you might know about it and 
it's good to know that there is one here in the woodlands so you know market street a lot of shops just really really cool place you got a movie theater back here um just constantly people here shopping there's a tacovas there's a tiffany's there's restaurants there's pretty much anything you want to do you can come to market street and just hang out it's a good time you know you can see right here too kids just out there playing family friendly area just fun good time to go hang out right there at market street another thing to point out real quick this is the cynthia woods mitchell pavilion as you can see it's a concert venue uh, best way I like to explain the pavilion is if you're from Southern California like me, you've probably been to the Hollywood Bowl. This is kind of our version of the Hollywood Bowl. So very similar. You know, you have the stage here. Um, the covered part down here is all seating. And then you have um, you have the grass area up here in the back. So, you know, here's a, here's a really good picture, actually. So obviously, you know, it rains a lot in Houston. So the seating area is covered. If you're going to be in a concert... If you're going to a concert and it's going to be raining you're good right here you probably don't want to be up here on the grass <laughs> when it's raining here in houston because i'm telling you it rains like nothing i've seen before being in california so you know just real quick one of the things i wanted to point out we went to a chris stapleton concert uh, back in october of last year um, with a couple of friends that visited from california and um, it was it was a really good time really fun place just to hang out um, really fun catching up with them too Another thing, the Woodlands Mall, which again was kind of all this stuff is pretty much right by each other. Um, it's just a giant mall. <laughs> if you've been to a mall before, um, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's a, actually really cool. You have this waterway right here um, and you these little ferries kind of can take you around all the different areas in the Woodlands. So a really cool way to get around. Um, there's also like a trolley system that's free as well. Um, you can get around that way but i mean the woodlands mall is huge we go there often just to kind of go hang out same thing there's a bunch of restaurants um, really nice restaurants actually um you know there's a north italia i think that used to be a brio when we first moved here it was a brio and we liked brio there was one in irvine close to where we lived in california that we would go to a lot um, but yeah the woodlands mall um, another cool thing is this and there's actually one in cyprus as well so it encompasses both of these cities we're looking at this little beakers um, it's a science lab for kids you know just pull up this website real quick um you know this video let's see what this is about okay so just cool i've actually never been here um my son would love this though. I have a seven year old boy and he is a science fanatic. That boy is smart and I don't know where he got it from because he for sure didn't get it from me. Anybody can come in. Parents can come in with the kids to do science and have after school. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, just pretty much looks like a cool place to go hang out, let your kids do some science projects, make a mess that you don't have to clean up. That's the most appealing thing to me. Let them go have fun and let these people clean up their mess right <laughs> but yeah so that's little beakers uh, another actual little another site that i okay, let's pause this another good site actually that i've looked at a lot when we first moved here was um this you know there's things to do in the woodlands and i just googled this um, when we first moved here and kind of just found all these places and places that we like to go here um but you know, they show you the pavilion, the shopping, um, you can follow them on social media, just a lot of different things to do here in the woodlands. There's this Texas Tree Ventures, which is really cool. You know, all the water sports, splash pads, there's the um, nature preserve as well. So if you like to hike or run or you're into running in nature, um, really cool thing there in the woodlands. Really, really great place. Let's jump over to some of these houses, which is probably what you've been waiting for this whole time. So again, you know, here's the woodlands. Uh, we'll zoom out just real quick. So you know, remember you had Bush Airport down here, woodlands right up here, um, zooming in. This is where the mall is and Market Street, kind of all the water activities, everything to do. There's the Nature's Preserve down here. Um, you know, we'll check out, we'll pull this one up here for 479. 
Priced at 479, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, about 2,100 square feet, just about 3,000 square foot lot. Um, and this was built in 2022. So newer construction, you know, can't say it's brand new construction because it is a resale home, but really, really beautiful house. I actually did a video of this house just a few weeks ago. Um, so if you watch my channel, you might've already seen this home. Um, and I was actually there on the street showing you the pool, showing you the area around it as well. But, you know, again, pretty new house, only about a year old, you know, wood floors, new paint, brand new kitchen, countertop, big island there. Um, really pretty, pretty house, big walk-in closet, stand-up shower, uh, game room upstairs, you know, plus those two extra bedrooms, another full bathroom. Um, smaller yard, as I mentioned, this lot I think was just under 3,000 square feet. So if you're someone that doesn't want to do a lot of yard maintenance, this is a great option right here. And it's not very often that you're going to find newer construction in the Woodlands. The Woodlands is pretty much built out. So to be near the mall and near where all the kind of action is in the, in the town, um, this is a really, really great option right here. Again, priced at 4.79. And as you can see, here's the little community pool. Uh, literally right across the street from this house so so direct access to the pool which is awesome um you know and then we'll go ahead and go back kind of always like to look at the schools as well so you can see the school ratings here elementary b middle school aa you know and then there's also this mortgage calculator which i like to look at 20 percent down looking at about 32.50 ish a month let's say you're conventional at you know oh where'd that go Sorry about that. We'll pull this back up. Here we go again, about 3250. You know, say you want to be conventional at about 5% down. Looking about 3700 with just under 24,000 down. You know, FHA 3.5% down. Looking at about 3750. And again, this is all just, you know, interest rate at 6.6. .6. This will all vary depending on credit and blah, blah, blah. But just a kind of a rough estimate of what you'd be looking at for something like that. You know, kind of come in, we'll come this way more and then pick one back here to end it. But um, another actually really cool house. Again, I actually did a video on this house recently. Um, I was actually in the neighborhood walking around. So if you want to pull that up, you can find it on my channel. It's the Woodlands, what you can buy in the Woodlands for $400,000. Um, really cool house. I actually really like this place. The street was quiet, um, kind of on a little cul-de-sac, kind of tucked behind in the woods, golf course community. Uh, really pretty. And um, the house itself is in pretty good shape. You know, newer cabinets, updated kitchen. Kind of have this little cool um, sitting area off to the side through the laundry room there. My favorite, favorite thing about this home, though, is the sunroom. So right off of the master bedroom, as you can see, you got your master bedroom here. These big sliding doors go out into the sunroom. You can see they have a Peloton in here, but really, really great. You don't think of like being from Southern California. I didn't think about it that much, but it gets hot here and, and I like to be outside. So. Having a sunroom is a really great bonus here in Houston because you can come in here. I'm not sure if this one's a seed or not, but if it is a seed, you know, you can kind of be outside, but not really be outside. And then you don't have to worry about the bugs and mosquitoes and everything else like that. Um, but that's my favorite feature of this home. Again, big walk-in closet um, and then nice backyard too. You got this nice wood deck, um, just really overall, really pretty house. You can see that sunroom there. Um, this patio also comes off the living area as well. Really nice home there. Again, it was priced at 415, four, three bedroom, two and a half bath, about 2350 square feet. Um, you know, coming down, check out this school ratings. Again, B, A middle school, A high school. Payment about 2830, you're looking at with 20% down. You know, again, let's say you're conventional at 5%, you know, 3229, say you're FHA at you know, as low as three and a half, 32.69. So, you know, that's kind of, again, just rough numbers, what you'd be looking at for, for a home like that. Um, coming back this way. So again, you know, you have the mall, all kind of the main action of the woodlands going on right here, 
Right here off Cukendale, there's some more shopping centers. There's actually a, um, a Trader Joe's over here as well, which is one of my favorite places. It's one of the reasons my wife and I go to the Woodlands often is just to go to Trader Joe's. It's the closest one to where we live. Um, so we'll go ahead, check this one out. Four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 2,300 square feet, a little over 9,000 square foot lot. It looks fairly new, uh, built in 2010. So about 13 years old. You know, great curb appeal, really nice, good size lot. Um, nice landscaping out front, dining room, living area. Um, big vaulted ceilings over that living space as well. You can see the kitchen, a little breakfast nook off there, off to the side of the kitchen. Uh, Walk-in closet, soaking tub, stand-up shower, double sinks in that master. Uh, looks like nice size game room here upstairs, plus. Um, I think it was three more bedrooms upstairs, another full bathroom, uh, separate laundry, and a pretty good size, pretty good size yard too on this big lot. So again, really nice home. You know, some of these, you know, that's the pavilion there. Here's the waterway. Um, really, really nice home there. Again, four bedroom, two and a half bath, priced at 425. You know, check out the school ratings. You know, A for elementary, B, B for middle school and high school. Again, kind of the same payment, you know, $425, 20% down, about $3,000. Again, let's say you're 5%, $3,455. Say you're three and a half with FHA, um, $3,495. So really, and one thing to note too, when we go to Cyprus, you're going to see um, a big difference in the estimated monthly property tax. A lot of those areas of Cyprus have um, a much higher tax rate than the woodland. Some of them are pushing about three and a half percent. So we'll, you know, we'll get to that when we get into the Cypress homes. But that pretty much sums up the woodlands. Let's go ahead and jump into Cypress. So right here, this entire area here kind of encompasses Cypress. It's a huge, huge footprint in Northwest Houston. You can see the woodlands up here, which was just straight shot north. Cypress over here off 290. Kind of cuts right in between Cypress and you got this whole area here. So really, really great location on this west side. You know, if you enjoy traveling or you want to go to San Antonio, you want to go to Austin. Austin's literally a straight, straight shot right here on 290, just a few hours away. You can get into downtown pretty quickly as well, you know, depending on traffic. George Bush Airport is not too far, obviously a little bit further than the Woodlands, but it's not a terrible drive getting over to the airport. Um, really, really great community overall. One of the things Cypress is most known for is it's really great public school system. Um, again, that's also on niche.com, so you can check that out. Uh, one of the weird things is on niche, niche.com didn't have a page just for Cypress. It kind of broke them up into different um, zip codes. Uh, so it was it's kind of really hard to explain when you can't see an all-encompassing page like that. But some of the things to do in Cypress you know, right off 290, you got this big, um, the Houston premium, premium outlets. So pretty much any brand you can think of, any store you can think of, you got the outlets here. Um, so again, just another kind of similar to the Woodlands Mall. Obviously the Woodlands Mall isn't outlets, but just a place to kind of go hang out, get some retail therapy out of your system. Um, just great shopping, great area just to just to kind of go have fun and hang out. You know, some looks like coach might've been having a sale, you know, all these people out there getting, getting fancy after those stimulus checks hit <laughs> the last two years. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but, you know, just uh, again, real fun place to hang out. Another cool spot is close to Town Lake, or it actually is in Town Lake. It's, um, excuse me, it's um, the boardwalk. So Town Lake is a newer development here in Cyprus um, and just really, really pretty. They did a great job with this whole development. So this is like the main shopping center. It's called Boardwalk on Town Lake. Um, you can see people got boats. You got the docks here. You can pull straight up with your boat and get out. Restaurants, entertainment, anything you need to do if you live close by is right there. So it's a really, really great fun area a lot of people are moving to this um, town lake or bridgeland area which i'm going to show you both of those as well but you know here's a great picture of a great aerial shot you can see the whole little boardwalk there uh, really great place 
Another thing up by Bridgeland, which I just mentioned, you have the Bridgeland um, Farmers Market. So if you like to support local business, um, small businesses, great thing to get out here and, you know, get some great food, great, you know, handmade products right here at the Farmers Market. Um, you know, really, really just, again, all of these areas are very family friendly, just fun places to be. And you can see that in these pictures, just people kind of coming out supporting local business, just having a good time with each other. And that's really what not just Cypress and Woodlands are about, but in my experience, that's really what Houston is about. So, you know, let's go ahead and jump into some of these homes in Cyprus. So we'll take the Woodlands out and we'll check out Cyprus. So again, four to 500. Get down here to Cyprus. So Cyprus is kind of most of this right here. You have Bridgeland, you have Town Lake, um, you have Marvita. There's a lot of new construction happening down on this side. Um, and then a lot of Cyprus on this side is um, more established communities. So since we're talking, we're comparing it to the Woodlands, the Woodlands is a lot of more established communities. We'll find one here. <clears throat> Okay, so here's a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, about 3,000 square foot home priced at 420 on just under 10,000 square foot lot. Let's check this house out. Um, okay, you know, pretty nice house. Walk in, looks like you got formal dining here to the left of the entryway. Yeah, right here, beautiful, big open kitchen. Um, looks like newer cabinets, maybe newer countertops. Um, really nice windows here on this breakfast nook built-in cabinets here uh, really pretty house you know big soaking tub stand-up shower in the master good size master bedroom looks like game room upstairs plus I think it was five bedrooms so three more bedrooms looks like two more bathrooms upstairs separate laundry uh, really really big home and especially for this price in this area um, really really great big backyard so if you're a family or maybe you're a young couple looking to grow your family, it's four bedroom, three and a half bath, 3,000 square feet. That's a good size home. This was built in 1988. Um, you know, let's come down here and check out the school ratings. There we go. So A elementary, A middle, B high school, you know, check out payment here. Looks like the tax rate isn't too high on this place, which is great. 20% down, looking about 3,000. Let's say you're conventional at 5%, 3431. Again, we'll check out FHA at 3.5, 3471. So, you know, really actually beautiful house um, in an established area, good schools, um, pretty good spot right there. Then we'll exit out of there. Let's come down here to this kind of, this is Town Lake. So the, as you saw on some of the things to do, the boardwalk is right down here as well. So that's Town Lake. And then you got Bridgeland over here, um, but both really, really nice areas. Let's see what this is at 428. Mm. There's some new construction there. Let's see this one here. This one looks like a newer home. Three bedroom, two bathroom, 2,500 square feet, uh, built in 2019. Let's take a look at this place. Okay, so, you know, definitely newer home, you know, walking in. Looks like you got maybe have a bedroom or two on this side. Um, nice wood floors. Obviously, everything's brand new. So nice, big, open concept, living, kitchen, and dining area. It's a big island on the kitchen. Um, I love having those big islands. You got a lot of room for entertainment. Um, nice tile backsplash, uh, pretty, pretty nice house overall, a little walk-in pantry here, kind of separate office space as well, or flex room as they call it, you can make it a study, kind of use it for whatever you want to use it for. Um, pretty big master bedroom, so double sinks here, nice custom walk-in shower there, walk-in closet, separate laundry, plus those two other bedrooms. Uh, pretty good house overall. See, I think it looks like epoxy floor here in the garage. Uh, nice house there, priced at $475. Um, going down, let's check out some of these school ratings and what a mortgage would be on something like this. So all A-rated schools, which is awesome. You, again, you can see, as I mentioned, 
some of these property taxes are going to be pretty high. Um, you're looking at 3.47 there in this area, so almost three and a half percent, which is why that payment is so much higher than those other ones. So, you know, let's say you're conventional at 5%, 42.56. Let's say you're FHA at three and a half, you know, 4,300. So just again, kind of estimates what something like that would cost you. Um, let's get over here kind of to this bridge land area. Let's see, try to be in the middle somewhere. 438, it's new construction. Let's try to find something that, um, that's not, a lot of these new construction homes, you won't be able to see any details on the homes really or any pictures. Let's see, here's 432. 440. Well, let's check this one out. So this one here, priced at 440, three bedroom, two and a half bath, just about 2,200 square feet. And this was built in 2016. Oh, so, you know, nice little porch here, walking up to the home, formal dining there off to the left, the little accents they did on the wall is actually pretty nice. And then big open concept, um, kitchen, dining, and living space actually Pretty big space, all those windows in the back there let in a lot of natural light. That's really pretty actually. It looks like they stuck some more windows up there for more light. Uh, recessed lighting in the ceiling, nice pendant lights. Really, really, really pretty living space. Again, pretty big kitchen, gas range stove top there, tile backsplash. Looks like a little flex room off to the side here as well. Um, big stand up shower there double sinks in the master soaking tub um, really pretty house plus those two extra bedrooms okay and this one's got a pool which is awesome so nice little covered patio here um, nice little lap pool not a huge pool but hey when it's hot out here in houston and you want to jump in the pool having one in your backyard is the best i'm telling you we have a pool and i don't know if me or my wife would have survived out here when we first moved here if we didn't have a pool um, so really, really great house right here. Again, that was priced at 440 with a pool, three bedroom, two and a half bath. You know, check out the school ratings on this place. Uh, no rating for elementary, AA for middle and high school. Again, kind of looks like, you know, 3.43 right there on the tax rate. So that really brings those payments up. So 20% down, you're looking at 3,500. Look at 5%, 39. FHA at three and a half, probably gonna be right under four. Yeah, 39.71 um, for something like that right there in Cyprus. So, you know, I'm gonna actually, we'll go ahead and wrap it up right there. We'll kind of end back on this map here. You know, just an overall look at Houston right here. Here's downtown Houston. Cyprus was right up here on this northwest side. The Woodlands was up here straight north of Houston. But again, as you can see, both of these areas are gorgeous and you can, your money goes pretty far here. So in the $400,000 range, those were some nice houses we looked at. You know, obviously you go into five, six, seven, 800, you're gonna be looking at some really, really nice houses. But um, you know, on the average home price in Houston right now is about 380. So in this price range is what most people are gonna be shopping at. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but um, beautiful areas, family friendly areas, great schools, as you can see on these ratings, um, just really, really great spot. So. You know, again, my name is Rennie Lara. I appreciate you joining me. If you stuck it out this long, I appreciate you. I hope you got some value out of this video. Um, and again, all my information is below. So if you're looking to move to Houston, as me and my wife did back in 2018, you know, we have personal experience with it and all the emotion and everything that comes along with making such a huge move, moving halfway across the country for us. Um, you know, I, I love helping y'all out. I love being able to empathize and be sympathetic with y'all and really understand what you need and what you want. Um, so go ahead and reach out. I'd love to chit chat with you and kind of get to know you and get to know what your goals are for your life and your family and your move here to Houston. So again, my name is Rennie Lara. I appreciate you for being with me today. God bless you. And I'll see you on the next one.